Welcome to your 10th grade orientation. What you will need, your transcript, copy of your registration form, and the copy of the A through G requirements. Your transcript is your permanent confidential record of all of the classes you have taken at ACHS and all of the grades you've received in those classes. Here's an example of a second semester freshman transcript with the grades and classes that were taken in the first semester, the current classes that are being taken now in the second semester, and the credits summary box in the middle. In the credits summary box, you will see the breakdown for graduation requirements by the subject areas required for graduation, the required column, number of credits that you need in that specific subject area, what you have already completed, your work in progress, or WIP is the work in progress, and then the last column is the credits that are still needed towards graduation. In addition to the 230 credits required for the diploma, there are also two proficiencies. The first is computer literacy, for which you can pass a test or take a class. The second is the algebra requirement. For that, you need to pass Math 1, Math 1B, or a higher math class. This slide reviews the A through G requirements. A through G are the requirements needed to be eligible for admission to a UC or a CSU campus directly from high school. The breakdown is as follows. Two years of Social Science, Area A, four years of English, Area B, three years of Math, Area C, Math 1, 2, and 3 must be completed. Two years of Science, Area D, a Biological and a Physical Science with a lab. Two years, however, three preferred of a World Language, Area E. One year of a Visual Performing Arts, Area F, and one year extra of an elective, Area G. You will also see a breakdown of the classes you should be selecting sophomore year to be A through G eligible. And finally, some final notes at the bottom. Remember, a C or better is the minimum for colleges, no Ds or Fs, and always strive for the highest grades possible. Also, 10th grade GPA is the first GPA that is calculated in the admission for UCs and CSUs. This slide provides a breakdown of the graduation requirements and the A through G requirements. The biggest difference occurs in the foreign language and or visual performing art requirement. For graduation, you need any combination of two years of a foreign language, visual art, or career technical class. However, for A through G, you need two years of a foreign language alone, one year of a visual arts alone. The other difference, which is not on this slide, is the SAT and ACT tests, which you need to take in addition to meeting the A through G requirements to go directly to a four-year university. Within our home state, there are 23 California State Universities, better known as CSUs, 10 University of California schools, better known as UCs, as well as private colleges. Should you choose to apply out of state, there are a number of private colleges and public colleges as well. This year, in choosing the appropriate science class, you will need to take into consideration your current math class and grade. If you are enrolled in Math 1 and receiving a grade of an A or a B, you can select Chemistry next year. If your grade in Math 1 is a D or an F, Earth Science would be the appropriate class choice for you. If you are earning a C in Math 1, you may select Chemistry or Earth Science. This slide reviews the course selection form, which you will use to select your classes for next year. You start with your name at the top and make sure you review this with your parents and have them sign at the bottom. For the first three categories, you will notice that you will need to get your current teacher's recommendation for the class for next year and their signature. Starting with the first category, English, you will select and circle one of the following. English 2 College Prep, English 2 Honors, English 2 BADA College Prep, or English 2 BADA Honors if you're enrolled in the Business Academy program. Math is the next category and there are several options. 
you will make a selection based on your current class. So, for example, if you are enrolled in Math 1 currently, you move to Math 2. If enrolled in Math 2, you move to Math 3. If Math 2H, you would move to Math 3H, Math 3 to Pre-Calc, and Math 3H to Pre-Calc Honors. Again, your math teacher will assist you in making the recommendation. The next category is science, and there are a couple of different options. Chemistry College Prep, Chemistry Honors. There is also an offering of Chemistry Zero Period, Biology Advanced Placement, and Earth Science. Again, you will also get your current science teacher's recommendation and signature. The next category is PE. The options are as follows. PE2, Dance Rhythmics, Weight Training, Marching Band, Yoga, and there's also an option for a sport. You will need to get the current coach's signature to enroll in the sports class. The next category is under Social Science, and the two options are World Civ, College Prep, or AP European History. Finally, the last category are under the electives, and you will notice that it's numbered first choice, second choice, third choice. We will be reviewing the electives in the next slide, but this is where you would indicate, for example, if your elective is your world language, you would write Spanish 2 and the course number, or whichever elective that you are choosing. Again, at the bottom, remember to have your parents sign and make sure that you have chosen your classes wisely. Just to recap, again, make sure that you choose your courses wisely uh, as this is how your schedule will be created for next year. This slide references all of the elective options for you to choose from. As you can see, there are a lot. So I will start with the first column. If you scan to the bottom, you will see our key. Courses with brackets meet an A through G requirement, and a course followed by a dollar sign fulfills the computer literacy requirement. So starting with agriculture, the options are animal and plant physiology one, animal and plant physiology two, floral design, advanced floral design, there is also an offering of zero period animal and plant physiology one and two, and a new course for next year is the sustainable ag course. Under the category for art, the options are visual art, painting, AP studio art, 3D sculpture, and digital photography. Next is AVID. If you are currently enrolled in AVID 1, AVID 2 would be the appropriate course selection or if you plan to enroll in the program. Next is for students enrolled in the BADA Academy, you would select the class under BADA Academy, which is multimedia. Business education courses, we offer Microsoft Office and Microsoft Office Advanced, Computer Science AP, Web design, which is usually offered second semester. Under consumer and family science, culinary foundations, developmental psychology A and B, which is the prerequisite for the teaching and learning or the preschool class. Industrial tech, we offer product innovation design one and two, CAD drafting and architectural design. CAD drafting would be the prereq to take or enroll in the architectural design course. We have our ELD courses, English 101, 102, and 103. Starting with the middle column under music, the courses listed are if you're enrolled in marching band, seventh period, stage band, which is zero period, symphonic band, mariachi ensemble, vocal ensemble, concert band, orchestra, or color guard. Under the category of world language, you can see all of the selections for the different languages, French 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 4 AP, German 1 through 4 AP, and Spanish 1 through 4 AP, and Spanish native speaker 
Uh, also, you will notice that there's an offering of Spanish 1 and 2, 0 period. Priority to 0 period Spanish 1 and 2 would be given to students who are enrolled in AVID or the BADA Business Academy and or the Ag Science Pathway. Under non-departmental, we have our yearbook class. Writing for publication is the Stinger, see Mr. Storer. Drama 1 and 2, Student Government or ASB, see Ms. Prestera. The Renaissance class, Peer Resource, Video Production 1 and 2, IT Essentials and Intro to Networking. Under Social Science, AP Human Geography, AP Psychology, and AP Psychology as a zero period. Finally, the last column under Athletics, you will see all of the different sports offered by semester one and two, but remember students enrolling in athletics must have a coach's signature. Finally, there are some ROP or CEC courses that are open and may be available to you as sophomores. Please see Ms. Brugman for this information. This slide just references the bottom half of the elective sheet that we just reviewed. Regardless of what math level you are in next year, we want to remind you that community colleges want you to complete Math 3 before attending. Here's a list of some of the available cords you may earn here at Camarillo High School. Each cord has a different set of requirements, so please check with the elective teacher in the area that you're interested in or see your counselor. The NACAC College Fair comes to Ventura County just once every year. On April 17th, the fair will be held at the Ventura County Fairgrounds. Over a hundred colleges will be represented. There will be private schools, Cal States, UCs, out-of-state colleges, and specialty colleges such as culinary schools. It is held from 5.30 to 8.30. Parents are welcome and it's free. Summer School. At this time, we do not know the specific details. However, we will be offering Summer School at ACHS. After reviewing your transcript today, you may notice that you do need to take a Summer School class to make up credits. We will have information soon. Please check in with your counselor. Your job is to review your transcript to make sure there are no errors on it, to review the selections and complete the registration form with your parents, to please make note of the A through G requirements and the requirements needed for your high school diploma, to start thinking about your college choices and possible future career, and finally, to get signatures from your coach if you are playing a sport and from your English, math, and science teachers. Registration forms will be turned in the week of April 11th through the 13th. Your English teacher will have the schedule. At that time, you will get to sit down with your counselor one-on-one, -on -one, ask any last-minute questions, and turn in your registration form with your counselor. Class of 2021, you have just completed your orientation. Thanks for listening.